Hello again, everybody. I'm the dude. Bye. Back with another video, and today we will be officially concluding our LEGO Star Wars: The Force Awakens walkthrough series with the DLC story mission of uh, Escape Star Killer Base. This is a 100% walkthrough. I've already played uh, these DLC story missions all the way through once. So I've already obtained True Jedi ranking. So the only thing we need to focus on are the uh, mini kits, is, um, especially since because the um, um, these DLC story missions already come preloaded with uh, the red power bricks. I don't know why, but I kind of feel like Gaff Kalec and Cad Bane kind of look like very, very similar to each other. Like they could almost be brothers. I just kind of wanted to show off what they look like kind of side by side there. It's very interesting. So this is, uh, this is kind of a big day, guys. This is the longest running series so far on my channel. And uh, it's, it feels good to finally be wrapping it up so that way I can focus on my other series. So I'm excited. I'm eager to get to it here. We're going to go to Starkiller Base, and we're going to go all the way down to the bottom to like, escape from Starkiller Base. I already have the red power brick. We, I have already obtained True Jedi rank, and so all we need to do is collect all 10 mini kits. And that will earn us our final gold power brick, and then we uh, we will officially have 100% of the entire game. Going to go down to free play. And let's see, I believe there are seven mini kits in the first part, and then there should be three in the final part. Let us get right on down to it, shall we? Cad Bane's arguably, like, one of my favorite characters in the Star Wars universe. Like, if I had to pick a top five, he's probably in it. Number one would probably be Obi-Wan Kenobi. Number two would be Yoda. And I will finish that list after the credits here. Escape from Starkiller Base. The First Order has failed to stop the Resistance from obtaining the map to Luke Skywalker. To prevent their enemies from making use of the information, the First Order has turned the Starkiller towards the car. The resistance is seat of operations. Slowly, the vast weapon begins to charge itself by draining the nearby sun. High above, in the darkening skies over the weapon installation, a battle rages between TIE fighters and a vastly outnumbered squadron of X-Wings, with time slipping away from them. Brave resistance pilots Sai Thranali and Lieutenant Wright desperately try to stop the car's complete annihilation. So yeah, like if I had to pick a top five like favorite Star Wars character list, it would probably be one Obi Wan, two Yoda, um, three Darth Maul, four Cad Bane, even though he's from the uh, Clone Wars animated series, and then five Chewbacca. For sure, top five favorite characters. I just I love Cad Bane the most because one, he's a very interesting. Uh, charismatic and very ruthless bounty hunter and i kind of feel like if boba fett got more screen time i would have grown to like him more but i love cad bane i love his character in the clone wars series and i'm kind of surprised because i never expected one of my favorite characters to be from an animated series i think i might have accidentally obtained some mini kits in this already that should have been your first mini kit See, I think I might have accidentally obtained some mini kits in this area. That should have been your first, and I don't exactly know where the others are. I, I might try to show you where they are at, if I possibly can. If not, then what I recommend is for anybody following along with this, just turn your collectible detector power brick on, and it'll it should lead you to uh, where all of the mini kits are at. I just didn't, don't remember obtaining them automatically like that. So that should have been your second mini kit, not your fourth. I think the mini kits I obtained were probably in the final section, if I am being completely honest. Because I think the final section might have been a, a auto flight section, so that'll be your third mini kit. 
So yeah, I think two of the mini kits I must have obtained. I obtained three of them, it says. But there's seven in this area. And that means we're only missing two more, two or three, like, to have a total of seven in this area, that means we're only really missing two more. So we need to become a snow trooper in order to survive the cold area over here. And that should be your third mini kit, I believe. Yeah, it'll be your third mini kit. <sighs> yeah, I think most of the other mini kits I obtained were in the second portion of this level and I accidentally obtained them and I didn't mean to. So I'll do my best to catch up with myself and figure out where I obtained those so you guys kind of know uh, where and how to get those things. Oh, uh, no, I accidentally fell. Alrighty, we need to become an agility character if I don't already destroy the ramp before it's done building. Okay. That was uh that was a that was a goof. Alright. So let that go down. Okay, there we go. blast our way through some stormtroopers before we can try to figure out how to open this gate. Blast that retired X-Wing to bits, maybe get some parts from it, pull this Lego plug full of branches down, shake some snow, grab some parts, build your way to success, Lego. swap out that one little floor tile so that way it makes a perfect L for loser or love depending on how you look at it and then make a little bouncy generator lower this down for my secondary character make a bridge two sidons Paradox, Paradox. Oh no! I'm gonna fall! Uh, hold on for dear life, Cad. The only really thing I don't like about Cad Bane's character design in this game is the fact that in the Clone Wars, he kind of had a breathing apparatus. He had, like, breathing apparatus tubes to either side of his face, I think. And uh, they don't really... That's the only thing they didn't put on his face. And, it's, I mean, it's kind of hard to... Uh, kind of hard to design that on a Lego minifig. But they probably could have done it with, like, very small pieces if they wanted to. Um, my solution to Trump's wall, build a giant robotic crane arm and just smash it to bits. And that's how you destroy Trump's wall, ladies and gentlemen. I'm gonna build a robotic arm, and I'm gonna smash this wall to bits because I realized it was a bad idea. I'm sorry, guys. I'm such an idiot. Let me guys let, uh, let me know how you think my uh, Trump impersonation is in the comment section below. <laughs> I'm making fun of him because I can because he's so easy to make fun of. Trump. I'm gonna leave politics out of my videos. How about that? Not so much politics, so much as it is the fact that Trump is a humongous idiot. <laughs> Alright, I don't believe there are any mini kits um, behind me here. However, there do seem to be two ahead. So I think I must have obtained like two or three mini kits in the area. Uh, in the, the part of the second portion of this level, so. Like I said, when I get to the second portion, I'll do my best to map out where those mini kits are. Eh. 
can't shoot the mini kit to obtain it. Kind of bogus. I wish we could, but that would be too easy. That would be too easy. You shoot that target. Kill that stormtrooper with snow. John Snow. We got to kill these stormtroopers with John Snow. He's a bastard. I can't wait for the Game of Thrones Thrones season finale tomorrow. See, this season seven has been insane. Like insane in the membrane. That's how insane it's been. Okay, explosive. We got explosive. Yeah, we got explosive. We blow you up. They are here to blow you up. Pull him down. Timber. And bye bye. Two Sidons! Sorry, Sidon and Cad Bane. Well, that Stormtrooper tried to pull some super slick moves. He's like slid to avoid blaster fire and then he still died. Cool. But uh, he ultimately failed. We are going to enter super blasty mode here and kill the rest of these guys. Alrighty, and that should end that blaster battle really quick right there. And there's our escape transport. We just have to get to it. So, I believe before we proceed any further, we have to become a small character that can crawl through patches, such as uh, Rowan Freemaker. That'll be our, um, that should be our sixth mini kit, I believe. It should be our sixth mini kit because there is one more mini kit in this area. So after this area, you should have seven mini kits. And then the next area will have three, your final three. Oh, what do we have here? We have a pool. Well, it would appear, ladies and gentlemen, that we have to become our favorite character. One more time in this series. Give it up for Admiral Snack Bar, everybody. He will uncover the pieces for our seventh mini kit. Ladies and gentlemen, that is going to be the last time you see Admiral Snack Bar in this series. It's been a fun ride. Let's 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 give him a big round of applause in the comment section below. Thank you very much. Use your quarant strength, Mr. Snack Bar. You don't have, I love the fact that you don't have to be, you have to be an Astro Mech Droid to access those panels. You don't have to be BB-8. It shows BB-8 because you use it throughout the entirety of the game pretty much. But you don't have to be BB-8 to access those panels. You just have to be an Astro Mech. So you can be R2, you can be BB-8, you can be any other Astro Mech to access those panels. Which means the weapon's done for. <laughs> he had Lego schematics on how to work on that transport. That's funny. That's really funny. <laughs> and then there goes, uh, there goes Ray, Finn, and Kylo having their snowball fight to the death. All right, let's see what we got here. We have one mini kit in this area, technically, because we've already obtained it. I'm trying to find out where these other two mini kits were. There we go. I think you have to blow up some of these uh, some of these transports or something. Something involving destruction. I have to see what it is. I don't know exactly what it is. Oh, you have to destroy those TIE Fighters as they fly by. You have to destroy three of those TIE Fighters as they fly by in order to obtain your uh, eighth mini kit in this area, guys. So once you destroy three TIE Fighters or three Special Forces TIE Fighters, whatever they are, you'll be good. You'll, be, you'll get that mini kit. And then... So that'll get you that one. I'm trying to figure out where the next one is. 
I know one of them sitting in a ring, all this one anyway. So that right there is how you obtain in super slow-mo your ninth mini kit. That is how you obtain that. And then, I believe, uh, um, Thor. Hmm. I don't know if there is, you know, there wasn't any destructible, destructible, uh, there wasn't any destructible things for mini kits in there. Um, I think this one they might have just given to us for free at the end of this. Maybe. They might have. I think they might have just given that one to us for free. So yeah, I mean, when in doubt, that final mini kit, I'm not exactly sure how you would have obtained it, but uh, it might have been in that uh, that icicle cavern. Um, but when in doubt, turn on your collectible detector and it should lead you to all the mini kits that you need to get. So, um, aside from that final mini kit, that is how you 100% escape from Star Killer Base. Let's watch this epic cinematic one more time and see it explode. Let's go home. The fact that they were in that close proximity to Star Killer Base when it blew up, I feel like they all should have died, but they did somehow, so. That, ladies and gentlemen, is the 100% completion guide for the final Star Wars The Force Awakens Season Pass DLC story mission, Escape from Starkiller Base. We have finished this series with over 9 billion studs, well, almost 10 billion studs, if you can believe it. That's going to give us our final gold brick. We're going to see what we assembled here. It looks like some sort of ATSD, all-terrain scout transport. First order ATSD. Alrighty, guys. That is the conclusion of LEGO Star Wars The Force Awakens. I have had such a fun time doing this series with you guys. Thank you all so much for sticking with me. This series is one of my first that has undergone a transition from live streaming to actual recording and professional editing. So we have officially 100% of the entire game. We have all vehicles, characters, carbonite bricks, all red power bricks, all... Uh, True Jedi ranks, all gold bricks, and all mini kits. So, guys, thanks so much for sticking with me throughout this entire series. It's been the longest running one on my channel, and I'm sure other future LEGO games will be like that as well. Uh, LEGO Marvel Super Heroes 2 is coming out this November. I am looking forward to that greatly. Um, Middle Earth Shadow of War comes out this October, and Destiny 2 comes out next month, so I've got a lot of content coming to my channel. I'm going to be doing more uh, Shadow Mordor videos very soon here, um, as well as my other series as well. So thank you all so much for watching. Again, my name has been I'm the Dude 5 Please subscribe to my YouTube channel, like this video, as well as any others of mine that you may enjoy, including the one I provide on screen. Like this series, as well as any others of mine that you may enjoy. I'll provide a link on screen also to my friend Night the Wolf's YouTube channel. Be sure to check him out, like, and subscribe. Also, guys, and I cannot stress this enough, if you are looking for a great group of people to play with, our new clan to join up with for Destiny 2's launch on September 6th, check out Body Body No Pants Party Clan. I'll provide our YouTube a link to our YouTube channel on screen at the end of this video, as well as a link in the description of this video to our Facebook page. Drop us a like, talk to one of the admins, get inducted into the clan straight away. Thank you all again so much for watching, guys. I'm glad you uh, came on this adventure with me and stuck with me through to the very end. As always, guys, stay classy, and I will see you all out there on our many great adventures. Bye-bye.